the I've got some recording I'm doing and I've got the rehabilitation training and then I've got other things. Um, Is it overflowing with training? Yeah, I'm doing a lot of training. I'm seeing some teachers and stuff and um, mm. So what is Reiki? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> no, I just do it. I've not done the training yet. Oh, no. It's like a no, it's like a kind it's of like healing. Thing. Thing. It's like a yeah. healing thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, it's how I got the job at the care home because um, yeah. um so we're just doing this. So what we're going to do today, we're gonna to do something a bit different. We're going to have a look at the second of the eighteen Tai Chi Chi Gong set. <laughs> But what I'm going to do is I might, I'll have to pause the recording and do screen share and then we can all join in with him. <laughs> um, so thank, thanks for doing that. That's all right. Really, so you literally live around the... I'm in the white bungalows at the top. Ah. <laughs> okay, really close. <laughs> so no keep squeezing. Miss a day, yeah. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> no excuse to be or miss a day. Well, I don't mind that it's, it's. Well, I mean, if you want to. If you think, oh, I'm only five minutes away, you're waiting until you, later. If you uh, and later, if, then you set off. And yeah. Like, wait. Yeah. If you wanted, you could always set up your own little practice group, like what we did when the teacher wasn't yeah. there. We, we set up a practice group, and um, <laughs> um, Robert, Rob, he, he was sort of leading it because he knows the most. So we went, right, you're the teacher. Yeah. And uh, it was fine. We did, it was really good. So we went through, um, we went through a couple of things last night at a very gentle pace and um, very nice. <laughs> So we're just breathing. And then open the arm. It's all back to normal temperatures now. This is much oh, better. Yeah. Much better. I'm almost cold. <laughs> yeah, well, I was noticing last night, I was still in my shorts, and I was thinking, brr. <laughs> <laughs> so just relax. Nice and tall. So we just... Now sink the hips. So you want your hips back and down. And we're doing our sleeping tiger eyes. Breathing. And then um, I'll just remember, I'll need to write you to write, just so I've got it again, your names and phone numbers down, mm -hmm. just in case, you know, just in case. Um, sinking that. And tall through the head. So the head's floating. The head's floating. So you're suspending from the head and then sinking down. But it means, and then we will do go back to doing this again. But it, it basically means that I, I can actually go see Mike this week um, and do some Tai Chi. Yeah, I'm not really getting much holiday because I've got a few gigs and things on uh, on my supposed holiday week. So mm. it's a bit like that. Okay. So check. So you're sinking the hips. And breathing. Let's do some breathing. That would be a good thing. So we're just breathing into the body. And then one thing, um, it might have been Mark, he said breathe into, or probably Eva, she says things like that, breathing into your feet. Bless you. Nice and tall. Yeah. 
So just breathing in that, just breathe in. And we'll do bounce for a bit, let's do bounce, and then we'll do shake. So the, um, So yeah, Brenda's on her way. She had to stop off at Burwell first. We, we had a chat before I came in, and off she zoomed <laughs> in her motor. So. And shake. Keep breathing, very good. Do it in slow mo first. So nice and relaxed. Actually, side view, side view. Tune into your spine. Well, you've only got one spine. You've all got spines. So we'll all tune into our spines. There we are. And we're, we're, we want to relax the muscles, but we want to think long thoughts. That's it. Four, three, two, and one. Now, I'm hoping to be able to go see Sam in, uh, he calls it Chichester. Ho, ho, ho. He's a very, very, very good Tai Chi instructor. He's like a real kind of biomechanics geek, he is. He's really something. And also hoping to see Karen and Eva and Barry and a few people.
bit more, everybody. Very nice. Four, three, two, and one. Marvellous. Okay. Oh. Let's do the big one. So punch up in the air and then let go. Punch up in the air. Okay, it's good, isn't it? Three, four, five. We'll do 20 to six. So we normally do 40 with Barry, but it's my week for me holiday. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, it's nice that one, isn't it? I really like it. It, makes, it. it feels quite strong. It's quite, but it's Barry. Barry does a lot of these quite um, good ones that are good for um, building up the strength and, and also just a little bit macho. He is, bless him. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he's very macho. He's, very, he's quite, you know, he's, he's been doing this thing where he jumps into the pool, an uh, outdoor pool. There's a Lido in. Um, there's a Lido where he lives in London, and he, he actually holds his breath and goes under the water and holds his breath and then comes up and he's, he's get doing it like he's trying to do this breathing method of he's working on he's always working on something. And, uh, but this is one of his. Okay, let's uh, let's do this one. Oh, you see, when you see this one, it's just like a real lazy version, isn't it? Very lazy. Hello. <laughs> Well, I'm really impressed with the turnout. So there's six of us, one, two, three, four, five, six of us in total, including the Zoom person, which is very nice. Oh, how was Burwell? Was it all right? Oh, crap. Where was you, the co-op? Or the I had to live in the co-op. Co My family's run out of milk. Oh. <laughs> We don't keep the cows anymore. <laughs> oh, that must be a bit of a... If you had cows that you could get milk out of a cow, Ooh. fresh from a cow. Jersey. Jersey cow. Oh, oh, Jersey cow. Oh, that would be a bit of a, a bit of an anti-climax then, having oh. co-op milk compared with <laughs> freshly picked from the cow milk. But there yeah. you go. Green. Oh. Never mind. So we're just doing this really, we're just letting the arms drop. And we're we're going to be we're gonna be going through the second shibashi set today. Just because I mean it's technically Chen style, but because I did it last night and I thought, ooh. But I might have to consult with my friend Mark. The, my students remarked, or one of my students remarked how, as I said, he was telling us how in the 70s and 80s how svelte he was, and he had these very tight flared trousers, and big, big hair, big hair that was all with a <laughs> hairspray, and would wear aftershave, apparently. It was all really good, you know, it was all coming up, and then he'd go and because he could really move well, he'd attract a lot of attention. <laughs> and he liked that. And then he went, look at me now. And then we all just basically fell about laughing. It was great. So, uh, <laughs> four, three, oh. two, one. Because he's, <laughs> it's amazing. Oh. So, forwards and back. I've not really, over the years, I've not really changed much in terms of my size. I just stay, I think it's because I don't really keep still often enough to put, <laughs> to put much on. So we're all just breathing. That's it. So just relax some more. So I was uh, te teaching, uh, oh, Burwell's gone up to four pounds finally. What? Three fifty. It was three pound before. Then it went up to three fifty, and they kept it at three fifty for ages. But they've gone up to four pound because the electric's got up. 
<laughs> and I thought, really, they could have gone up to a fiver, really. I mean, Ely's staying at £4 for the rest of this year, and I might just keep it up for just through sheer belligerence. <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah, but with the with the electrics, we might have to put it up to a fiver. Well, it's going up again in January, isn't it? Yeah. Again. Yeah. Is that what you've got in your eyes? <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm not. I'm not putting the lights. I've decided to do my bit because I don't want my hall light to have to go up by a huge amount. So we just go. And I think if I don't use the electrics as best, you know, obviously I've got this computer plugged in, but if I can minimise... Yeah, but that looks on that, say it runs on its battery. I could run it on its battery and just plug it in when it's about to go off the... You know, that, that would be the way to do it. risk jeopardy, but if they ask, and say, oh, no, we don't use any electric. <laughs> these things. Oh, and we'll do Barry's exercise again. I love this one. I was doing so. So. I know, and then the next two weeks. Well, you could always meet up and go and have a cup of tea somewhere or something. Do, do fun things and, cat, you know, team building or whatever. Burwell lot, they all went to the Village Green coffee shop. Oh. The Village Green, it used to be called Elk. Yeah. And we liked it when it was called Elk. Oh, on the Elk. Causeway. Yeah, on yeah. the Causeway. And now it's called the Village Green Cafe. And you just think, oh, boring. I'm not sure. I just wish they'd kept it at Elk. I thought Elk was, because then you go, well, where you going? I'm going to Elk. And it was a bit interesting, you know. <laughs> what can you do? So here we go, we go like this, one, so it's, look, smallish, big, ah, and then we go, oh, imagine you've just found out the electricity's going up again, so you go one, two, oh, one, two, well, if they made, a, like, a British electricity and a British gas run by the Hands in Parliament or something. Would that help, do you think? No. no. It doesn't it used to be, but it still kept going up. No. Extortionate. Well, you reckon they charge extortionate prices yeah. too if we opened it? Yeah. It was worse. Mm. Well, they've done it with football clubs. They've taken ownership of football clubs. Why can't we get made? Would that work? I don't know. I don't know enough about these things. Even the electro D size will B and size will C and size will D. Mm. They're not English anymore. No. 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 Fantastic. Right, next. We imagine we've got like oh we're seeing Morris men for there are loads of different Morris people actually because there's some Morris men teams were full more of Morris women. There was a lot more women doing Morris than men, I noticed this year. And they even had a couple of wheelchair musicians in wheelchairs all in the feathers and things, oh. banging drums and playing fiddles and things. I thought, I'm very impressed having this. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> it's it's like, the but, music but, side has always been open to anybody to yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd be interested in a wheelchair, Morris. I think that could be quite... I'm sure they can bang a stick, but... Uh, Anyway, so we like this. We turn, we turn a bit more, and then we go, uh, we turn, we turn a bit more. But you want to keep your knees pointing forwards. So keep the knees pointing forwards, and there we go. Keep the knees pointing forwards. Keep the knees pointing forwards. Keep the knees pointing forwards. So we just do a bit of loosening. And 
one more time. Oh, great. Right, next, you do a big one and a little one. So you do a big one and a little one. A big one and a little one. A big one. demonstration. So you just get yourself like this, make a square shape with the hands, you come back, stretch up like you're a beautiful ballet dancer or something like that, and then you come down and you do two, one, two. Then you go one, two, one, two. Right, we can do this. Think elegant, graceful, you know, you're like you're the epitome of the most beautiful poetry written. Okay. Ah. Well, there's not that moany stuff. You know, the nice, pretty poetry. <laughs> not that stuff that goes around. Yeah. yeah. Relax more, relax more. So especially if you don't understand something, you want to really, really relax then. If you if you get if you get really we'll be practicing a lot of relaxing later. Oh, that's so good, we'll do one more inside. Marvellous. There we go. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Brilliant. Any questions on that? No. Okay, let's just let's just get this all up. And then let's just swing a leg forward and just kick, 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 out to the corners, kick, kick. I did some really fun stuff with Leslie. <laughs> Leslie, the um, keep fit lady. Oh, she was wonderful. She was wonderful. And then just bring the leg. Don't damage the chair. So like that. Just do it. Do it. Um, basket those people that are in the chair. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. And then have a little wiggle. Have a little wiggle. There we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's nice, isn't it? You could go for a walk. <laughs> we did that with Eva, actually. She says, now we will be doing our wiggly walk. And so we went for a wiggly walk. And it was really good. So you can try that next time you're in next time you're in Burwell when you're wandering around the co-op supermarket. Start doing that. <laughs> I'm not sure how any of this stuff works, but putting it up there just to get out there. What is TikTok? It's, like a, very it's a thing that, video. like very short, seconds. just a few seconds long video that these people made of them doing stunts and singing and silly dances. 
I like the silly dancers, they're my favourite. Or cats, obviously. Mm. Cats. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's quite good. Now, YouTube can be like hours for yeah. TikTok seconds. Or you can do watch someone do something though. Yeah. They'll have a few seconds and then there's someone playing an instrument or someone singing or that, that, that's quite nice. But so we'll just do that. Okay, let's just uh, one. Oh that's good. Cool. Two, three, four, five, all the way. One, two, three, four. So then the, the knees. Now when I did this with Rob, he had his hands on the side of the knee, so he's not leaning on the knee because he has knee issues. Then he goes one, two, three, four, five, and then the other way. One, two, three, four, five, and then he goes like this, and then like that. One, two. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But you'll have to work something out. That's it. Four, five. So that was, that was what we did last night. I thought, well, that's a good one. So um, I'll just pause the video because I just need to consult with um, Loki. Um, let's... Uh, <laughs> the second day tea. I've got my crib sheet here. So that was preparation. So the preparation move of the second day tea. Brilliant. Is we go... And, uh, oh. and it looks very familiar, doesn't it? Mm. Now, when he did this, he says, if you want, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can go like that and come up. But it's... Mm. Yeah, I, I just stick with the... Mm. Yeah, you just want to just wanna relax. So do one more, because I've lost count. And then you bring your hands together and then you go like this, but you stay upright and it's mainly bending the knees. I'll show you from the side. You come up. Don't like a bit like a choo-choo train. Choo-choo train, have it on. It's, it's not called choo-choo train, it's called circulating the chi. So I've been reading this so much it's falling apart. Circulating the chi. Four. Five. But you do use your 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 legs. Six. Let me show you that. Seven. One more time and eight. Okay, then you just let your arms hang. Now you step forward into bow and arrow stance. You continue going forward and you turn so that this palm is down and this palm is up. Then you breathe in. One. Two, if you want, you can do the lifting the heel, lifting the toe thing. But I'm doing the simpler version. Three. Nice and tall. That's it. So we'll actually your um, shoulders four and then you change. Step back, step forward. Wow. So it's called Wind Rocks the Willows too, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Not if you're under a willow, that might be a bit painful. Three. <laughs> Splat. Four. And then come back. Needle at the sea bottom. So you make that shape with the hands. And then you come up like you're at a jewel. <laughs> and then you point your toe and then you come down. And you come up. Like you're, you're pulling off a wet wetsuit. You know, I saw people, I wouldn't pull off a wetsuit, but it kind of reminded me of people taking a wetsuit off when I saw them on the beach in Brighton. So. I'm 
just going to do eight of everything. And I don't need to worry about what I'm, how many I'm doing. Six. I like this bit. It's a bit James Bond, isn't it? Seven. <laughs> and eight marbles. Look at that. Aren't we good? And we come up there. I take a wider stance, and this is called Fisherman Castle Net. Now you keep your fingers pointing outwards, and it's like a lower version. Then you turn your waist, then you cast the net, transfer the weight. Transfer the weight. That's it. Down. Transfer the weight. Keep breathing. So, yeah, thanks to my training buddies last night that helped remind me of this, especially Rob. It's very good. How are we? Marvellous. How are we? So I try and keep, I keep my fingertips pointing outwards until the last moment. I've lost count because I've been enjoying this so much. I think the next one is the Fairy Shows the Way, which is a wonderful name. Now you make the pointy, pointy thing with your fingers, pointy, pointy fingers, there that's it. It's a bit, isn't it? So then we come around like this. So let's just practice circling. And now circle the other way. So you circle, 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 and then circle. So you go one, two, and then point. And then we go point. So round and point. Oh, nice. Don't don't worry. Just do something. That's fine. Around and point. Yeah, so you're definitely quite emphatic with the whole pointy thing. <coughs> okay, let's let the fingers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go behind. Or was it in front? It might be in front. Oh, it was in front. Yeah, it's in front. So we just do the. Like you're in line dancing class. I, I went line dancing once. It was fantastic. I was in Leeds and the bloke was massive with a big like proper Stetson hat and rhinestones, big white shirt with rhinestones, very, very, very tight trousers and, and pointy, pointy shoes. Winkle pickers. Winkle pickers. Yeah, he was wearing winkle pickers and right and Wisbury and a hat and he was going um the only bit where he was Yeah and the Romney Cowboy music and he went Yeah, we were doing the leg in out in out and he went in out in out in out in out in out in out step to side in out in out and then and then he told me kept saying step to the side which I thought I oh, must be in lead. It was fantastic. I mean, it was fantastic. It was great. And everyone was all doing it and some of these more you know everyone was all dressed up in their best cowboy cowboy gear. Oh it was brilliant. Oh I loved it. Fantastic. Anyway, so reminiscing over. So now what we do is you can do it that way or you can do it behind. But what you're doing is you're pointing actually let's try behind. Point in the way, and we come over and we point. point. So you've got all the weight is on that leg, and if you want, you can even. It's that way. It's that way. And if you had a disco beat on, you could kind of. Where's the Bee Gees? Really? Anyway, enough of that. So fairy points the way. Brilliant. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yes, for me. Uh, what's the next one? Um, oh, young boy stretches his legs. Have I got a sarky comment on him? You know that one. Yeah. yeah. Joe Exotic Line Dance. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was amazing. It was like, it was a bit like when I went to my friend Patty's Spoon. She did, she, she plays Spoon. She's a proper... She's been playing spoons for 50 years, over 50 years. 
and she can do it all over her you know, the legs. And she can like, it's just like, my grandfather was a spoon player, so I was quite, quite interested. And uh, it was like a complete revelation. It was the same thing with this line dancing man in Leeds, you know, it was just like, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. So anyway, now we have got young boy stretches his legs, and it's also called urchin stretches his legs. <laughs> so you think of a sort of art from dodger type, and then you, you the, the weight transfers. You lift up your leg, and you swing, and then come back and down. So you think of a maybe he's chewing gum. There's a little bit. Insolent. <laughs> so annoying, insolent young person. Warming up. Actually, I don't really know any. They're all really, really sensible, the ones I know. And they all know they're really brainy and explain things to me in a very, very sort of switched on, out protesting a lot. So <laughs> we go up, we up, and down. We go up, we up. It's good this one, isn't it? We up. Don't don't fall over. No, it's not. Young boy falls over. I think. Oh. That would be great. Right next. Oh, we've now got the fairy crane salute. So there's a lot of fairies in this. But you know, my my nieces would love this because they love fairies and unicorns. So, um, so you come like this, you come out and you make your salute and then you bring your leg over and then you go like this. And it's, it's great, isn't it? Don't you feel wonderful? It's very good, especially when you see a bloke in his 60s, I guess, <laughs> who used to be a skinny disco dancer. <laughs> Doing this, it was brilliant. You just think, oh, I think I'm doing this. You can, you can turn, um, is it that way you turn? No, is it that way? You can turn a bit as well. You can turn, so you can turn away a bit. And you can just, that's even nice. And let's do one more time. So, isn't this fun? There we go, marbles. So we're, we're keeping nice and soft in all these movements that we're doing. Oh, yellow dragon explores palms. So we come up. Oh, we get, get into a bigger stone. So we sink. And imagine you've got a two pound coin in each of the palms of your hands. And you sink and you're throwing the two pound coins forward. Then the arms come down. Come up. So, uh, push, marvellous, and then you go down. So it's quite, I like this one, it's got a nice sort of feel to it. And then I think I overdid it, so let's do another one. <laughs> I think I did too many. But I just like this move, so why not? Okay, and just let the arms relax. Oh, draw the bow to shoot the arrow. Now he, he's wider and he kind of comes up like this in the video. And then draw the bow to shoot the arrow, and does this. And this looks a bit like something out of a, like you're a B movie extra. It's the monster, you know, and then you come down, you come up. You know those Japanese monster movies? You see people doing stuff like that, don't you? Then they're usually screaming, aren't they? Ah. So you come down, just check it out. And you... So you can do it like that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it's good, get in touch with your inner B movie extra. Yes. And we just go, well, hey, there we are. It's different, it's, it's a sort of variation on, there's a lot of variations on this, bend the bow to shoot the arrow. Or it's called draw the bow to shoot the bird. Now, I'm not doing that, I'm just going to shoot the arrow into a target. Because that's better, isn't it? That's nicer. 
Oh, marvellous. Right, put your... So that was yellow dragon. Oh, now we've got twin dragons we out to the sea. Now this is where you make your... That shape. It's a bit like Star Trek, but it's also a bit like, you know, Beavis and Butthead. It's, um, it's from the, the Hebrew Jewish fending off of the evil eye. Okay. It's oh, the Jewish point ladies, point. if they have like their photo taken or something, they do that by their side or quietly so that they warded off the evil eye. Oh, we're warding off the evil eye. That's all, isn't it? Much nicer. Much nicer. So this is called Twin Dragons Swim to the Sea, and he said roaring optional. So we like this, and then you step, and then you go like this, and then you look, and then you come back. <laughs> And then you step, and you look. It's, it does make you want to growl for some reason. I don't know why. It makes me want to growl. So I've got a phone up my friend's at old house sitting for. Hopefully the cat's not thrown up again. She she ate half of a. Well, no, she she ate a bit of a moth, a ginormous moth, nice crunchy one, and. She, it didn't agree with her tummy. Mm. Never mind. So there we go. So we're, we're thinking about how we're moving. And then... And once more with feeling. Right. <laughs> okay, now we come... Now we just do this just to practice that bit. Then what happens, so that's, that's going on, and then what happens is you turn the foot in, turn the foot out, transfer the weight. Bow and arrow stance, back stance, bow and arrow stance. So we just practice that, and then we double handed push, pushing waves. So imagine a beautiful scene, and we go like that. There we go. Oh, I'll turn around. Shall I face back? Okay. I'm getting a request to face in the same way that we're going. And, um... Oh! It came into fashion when the Jewish musician always used it in photos to ward off the evil eye. That's why they use it in heavy metal. Well, that's fascinating. Thank you very much. Excellent. Right. <laughs> yeah, because I do that a lot. The, um... So you come across like that, then you sit back, and then you push the waves. So maybe when you're on holiday, which I won't be, <laughs> I was looking for, I was like, oh, I could spend a couple of days, I could spend a couple of days somewhere like Norfolk, maybe in the, in the car bill, and I'm like, oh no, I can't. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it's all fine. So we come across. Fantastic. We just do that so I can see what you all do. That's it. So, so there's this real kind of movement. It's almost like you're. It's like, think the circles, think the circle coming around and then push it. That's it. Once more, that was marvellous. Very good. Right, let's move on. The next movement is called, oh, lion plays with the ball. Lion plays with the ball. This one's a little bit, little bit involved, but we're fine. We can cope. We can cope. So we start here and we move like this. Lion plays with the ball. It's a bit like the fair lady works at shuttles. Now keep the high hand high. Now the low hand, you're going to make a circle. So make a circle with a low hand, and then you go into cat stance. And then you step, and imagine you've got a great big ginormous beach ball. And what you do is you're rotating your beach ball. Rotate the beach ball. Oh, imagine a great big lion. So obviously this lion 
Now, uh, hopefully the ball won't get exploded because you'll have claws. Well, they've probably hopefully kept his claws in this line. And then you come around, you come around to you, and they go into cat start. Lion plays with the ball. That's marvellous. You come around. Nice round shape. Nice round shape in the middle. Nice, it's got a lot of space in it, it's very spacious. So you want to get into bow and arrow stops. So put your weight, that's it, that's it. Now keep this high hand high, and then come around in a circle, slight silk breathing, and we like this, and we step. Lion plays with the ball, beautiful, beautiful. And then my favorite move actually is next. I love this next move, but let's do one more lion plays with the ball. And then we're doing embrace the moon in the cup. So make a big cup and embrace the moon. We embrace the moon in a cup. Embrace the moon. You lift your heel off the floor in a cup. Embrace the moon in a cup. Ooh. <laughs> embrace the moon. is phoenix, flying phoenix, so the phoenix flies on one side and comes down and you turn, 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 lift the, so the, the body mechanics are pretty much the same, you transfer the weight, turn the weight, raise the heel, beautiful fiery phoenix, you know, you're kind of crackling away there, but very elegant and graceful. So think very graceful thoughts of this. Fantastic. Tall through the spine, you're a phoenix, so. Nice, isn't it? One more time, it's like that. Beautiful, that look real elegance in this room, marvellous. Look at that. Okay, then come back down. Now bring the feet in. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do this movement, like that. And we come back, and then we do that. And we come out, and then we do boxing the tiger's ears, or it's also called twin pe piercing the ears. So you make a fist, and you come around in a circle, and it's a tiger, so it's, it's got a big head. And then you come back, and then it's, it's quite got quite a tough feel to it. And you come back. Tall. And then you come back. And, ooh, you come back. And then last one, last one, oh, very nice. Bring the hands back, go into Wu Chi, and then we're gonna circle the Chi. So we just come around like we're stirring. This is a bit like polishing the table, but all in one direction. So we're like, imagine you're stirring a nice big pot of hot chocolate fudge sauce. Mm. Or you're making toffee or something, or you're stirring the Christmas pudding mixture. And then round the other direction. Ooh. Sink the hips, sink the hips, open the palms, nice. Stirring that 
to this one, which we already know. <laughs> oh, so it's not like we've never done this one before. So this is the last movement. How cool is that? Very useful. We do it eight times. the tiger return to the mountain. Sorry for the It's a nice little set, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite fun and I especially like the movements with the fairies. You know, we can really go away with the fairies there. Yeah, that's why I have to have my crib sheet. I mean, that's the other ones are easier to remember just because I've been teaching it every week for the last, you know, during lockdown. But this one, I only really, um, I only went through at a weekend with one E, and that was like nearly twenty years ago, and then only resurrected it sort of last year. So it's a bit like no, this year, this year. Let's have super smooth faces. So rub your hands together and polish the face. Mm. And then rub the hands together again. And give your lower back a rub. Oh, oh that's lovely. That's my favourite bit. Okay, and then we'll <coughs> nice and relax. Check the posture, breathe in. Okay, cool. Right. Well 